Welcome back, everybody. So the government just released a report on economic growth for the final quarter of last year. Lots of questions here. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger is here to tell us what happened and just as importantly, what it means for all of us. Jill, how are things in the NYC this morning? How you doing? A uh, little foggy yeah. and uh, happy to report that maybe, just maybe, I'm giving you good economic news. You know, I like to do that. That's what I was hoping for. So let's jump in here. After a, a, what, by all accounts, was a sizzling summer, we're hearing that the economy maybe slowed down a little in the fourth quarter. What do you know about that? Well, it did slow down. We're talking about gross domestic product. That tallies the value of goods and services in the U.S. And absolute crazy amount of growth that we saw in the third quarter in those summer months that was a 4.9 percent annualized increase in that quarter so the last quarter of the year we were expecting a slowdown to you know from 4.9 to maybe two well it came in at a much better than expected annualized pace of 3.3 percent in wow. the fourth quarter so interestingly yes a slowdown but definitely better than expected see this is where sometimes headlines can be a little bit misleading because you know what a lot of people are going to do they're going to see slowdown and they're going to think oh boy now we need to start thinking about the possibility of a recession again in 2024 what do you think about that well, I got to be honest with you, when we look at the strength of consumer spending and it I mean, it's not going to be the same as it was in the second half of the year, but consumers are still really powering forward. And we've also seen a lot of government spending occur and some manufacturing investment. So I think that right now, when you look at these numbers, there doesn't seem to be evidence that we have a recession right ahead of us. But, you know, of course, a recession can come anytime and for lots of different reasons. We have seen that the economy will likely decelerate this year. Maybe we're going to get growth of like one or one and a half percent for the whole year. But interestingly, that's kind of what the Fed wants. They want the so-called soft landing. The economy slows down, which helps inflation come down. And we do all of that without landing ourselves into that recession ditch that we also fear. That's been the goal all along, I guess, right? Speaking of the feds, the Federal Reserve, I think, is convening a policy meeting next week. Any word on, on what might come out of that? I think a whole lot of nothing. I, the <laughs> central bankers are going to say, OK, wait, there's still strong, still strong retail spending, still high prices. We'll, let's not do anything. That would mean they leave short term interest rates at the more than two decade highs of five and a quarter to five and a half percent. Now, I know that is such a bummer if you are a borrower and I hear you and you should get relief later in the year. But savers, go lock in those rates as much as you can because I think that those rates are still really juicy for savings and checking, money markets and CDs. They won't stay where they are for the whole year. She opened by telling us she had some good news and she delivered. Jill, thank you very much. We appreciate it. See you next time. You can see Jill regularly like I did this morning on CBS Mornings and the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. For more analysis anytime, you can go to JillOnMoney.com. We're also going to post this segment at FirstAlertFord.com slash Great Day right after the show, guys. Dollar, dollar, Jill, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> always brings the goods. She always makes us feel calm, even in the middle of a storm. You know? Definitely. Well, thank you.